Okay, another sign on my classroom door was, peace to all who enter here, because you want people to be relaxed and comfortable in your classroom. Now the formula for experimental probability is pretty much the same as theoretical probability, with the meaning being slightly different. We need to assume, by the way, that all events are equally probable for this to occur. Otherwise you have to do some kind of weighted probability. So it's the number of times that the event in question occurs divided by the total number of possible outcomes. Okay, now, let's say, for example, we have marbles in a bag. Four blue ones, five red ones, one green one. What's the probability of getting blue? Well, there's, there are four blue ones, and if we do a quick addition, four plus five plus one, there's ten possible uh, marbles in the bag, so that's, again, 0.4 or... 40%. Similarly, the probability of red is um, 5 out of 10, 0.5 or 50%. And the probability of green is 1 out of 10, 0.1 or 10%. What about the probability of not blue? Let's do that over here. The probability not blue. Well, there are six that are not blue. Once again, 10, so 0.6 or 60%, that probability. So you'll notice that the probability of blue is 1 minus the probability of not blue. Because that was 40, and that's 60. So 1 minus 60 is the same as we had over here, 40. That's a handy little relationship between the two. And of course, you should realize that um, all the probabilities would add up to 1. So 40% plus 50% plus 10% is 100%, which equals 1. Alrighty, stay tuned.